I was at Fantasia Festival and I'm recording more quickies because I'm going from worst to best and there's still more to talk about. Here we go. One of the films I watched was an Australian documentary called Morgana. This is a documentary about a depressed woman in her 50s who finds her salvation through creating adult films. It's a really interesting character piece and it feels very real and relatable. There are parts of this film that were well shot and others that were a little meh. The music was well used and it wasn't overbearing. It's interesting and emotional and deals with topics like loneliness, purpose, isolation, personal discovery, identity, etc. Now personally I feel as though this documentary about her art is better than her art itself. This isn't really a portrait of some artistic genius, this is more so a heartfelt documentary about a woman who's finally found a way to express herself. There's nothing absolutely insane about this documentary, but it hits the emotions well. By the end of it, it did start to feel a little repetitive and stretched out, and even with this documentary only being 71 minutes long, I'm not sure the runtime was justified. There wasn't really a whole lot to cover, so perhaps this didn't even need to be feature length. Either way, I enjoyed this film, and it was overall a very endearing watch. So check this one out if you want, and I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. Another film I saw was called Monster Seafood Wars. This director has also made another film called The World Sinks Except Japan. The presentation of this film is really cheesy, but it's clearly trying to be. There are some parts that are funny, and some parts that are ironically funny. It is definitely not trying to be a super serious film, and that really helps the experience. Basically, the hook of this film is that there are a bunch of kaiju monsters from the ocean, and you get to watch them fight in, like, a Power Rangers style. The film is completely aware that nothing it's showing is convincing, but that's what makes it fun. The characters in this film are hilarious and over the top. The dialogue scenes in this film were surprisingly not boring. It's not particularly well shot in any way, and there are some really obvious green screen moments. When they cut from the kaijus to the humans interacting with them, it's very clearly not in the same environment at all. The exposition in this film is both barely there and also nonsensical. It's basically like one big shitpost movie. The ideal viewing experience for this film would be with friends and alcohol. Still, despite its flaws, I had a lot of laughs watching this film. It was entertaining and hilarious, and time just flew by watching it. So yeah, if you want to see a movie that's basically just a shit post, then uh, check it out. And I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. Another film I saw was called Lapsus. This is a bizarre science fiction dystopian comedy type movie. Basically, this takes place in a future where everything is run on quantum computers, and the main character gets a job laying quantum cable despite some very clear safety concerns. The film is decently shot, it's funny, and it has good pacing. There's a hilarious montage of characters having philosophical conversations that I really loved. This is a film where the side characters of this movie were actually fun and interesting. It was well acted, the music had a good and interesting tone, there were also some clever moments here and there. It's clear that the filmmakers knew what they were doing in general. It almost feels like a Black Mirror episode, but with more humor. I'm not sure how I feel about the ending, but I'll have a better idea when I watch it a second time in the future. So yeah, check it out, and for now I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. It's closer to a 7 than a 5. Alright, I've got one more Fantasia Festival quickie coming, and then I'll be doing a bunch of them for Toronto Film Festival, so stay tuned. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.